It's Wednesday and we took the day off. So we're going to vlog our day right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Kitas. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Kitas, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so it's Wednesday we took the day off because I actually had to lead early morning prayer this morning you did so you were out early yeah I've been up since 5 a.m. Wow and uh, I was gonna vlog when I first woke up and I'm like yeah that's not happening <laughs> so it's now like 9 30 but we're gonna vlog anyway we're, we're going, we're doing this. I actually slept in later than normal this morning because um, it's Wednesday and Monday my mom had cataract surgery in one of her eyes and we had to be like at the doctor's appointment like really early and then we had the follow up on Tuesday. Again, we had to get up like really early. So today I was like, I pushed that snooze button like 50 times. What is the point of the snooze button? I don't know, it gives you like that false little sense of like, Reward, reward. I don't get the snooze button at all. To me, it's the most annoying thing in the world. It goes off at 5 o'clock. You hit the snooze button at 5.05. .05, it goes off again. By the time you finally fall back asleep, that stupid thing is going off again. It's, it's just a procrastination, like adrenaline rush that you're like okay I'm getting away with something I'm getting away with something you're really not because then you wind up having to like race for the rest of your day. Let us know down in the comment section, are you a snooze button person or are you not a snooze button person? Usually I'm pretty good about not hitting the snooze button, but today it was terrible. Me personally, I'm not even an alarm person. I just tell my body, hey, you need to get up in the morning and 99% of the time I do get up or I just don't go to bed the night before. So when Caleb said like, hey, are you ready to like head out? I was like, oh my gosh, is it <laughs> is it time for school? Like, oh my goodness, I mean, he got no breakfast this morning, like nothing. Well, it's like I said, it's about 9.30. They just opened up a Sprouts near us, finally. And it's we haven't been there. It's not 45 minutes away. So it opened up like the week before the threat of the hurricane. Yeah. So we're gonna head over there now. Are you super proud of me? Because my mom visited this like a couple of weeks ago and I didn't go with her. I was like, I'm saving myself for Joe. Well, I did look online and saw that there were a couple of things on sale. So I'm glad that you waited to go with me. Good, yay. All right, let's do this. So dun 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 dun, we made it to Sprouts. And even though I'm wearing my jacket, because I know it's gonna be cold in the grocery store, I'm wearing my two crazy keto shirts. Yeah, and I'm actually gonna be cold, I know, so I'm wearing my sweatshirt, and I am like really pleased with the quality of these. Yeah. These came from Amazon, and it is a super good quality. I'm like really, really happy with the quality. They're not like itchy and weird, and the neck isn't like choking me, like all good things. Yeah, because before we even like put them up like onto Amazon to actually sell, we, we ordered them for ourselves to so like oh let's make sure that it's good quality are these gonna be wonky but no they're good and they seem to be like true to size yeah so you, I think you're wearing the, the small, small and it's the ladies small and then this is the, the large yeah so, so we're gonna head into sprouts I'm gonna drink a little bit more of my bang I'm like addicted to these things like this is like not a good thing we avoided them for a long time because people had said that like once you bring them into your life you won't be able to function without them and like yeah yeah, I, I mean, there's the ingredients are okay. They're not the super cleanest, but they're not bad. I mean, it is uh, sweetened with sickle roast. So if you don't like sickle roast, um, you might not want to use them. But also, remember, a lot of I see online all the time people are talking about sickle roast. Like, well, sickle roast is Splenda. No, it's it's not. It's Splenda has sickle roast in it, but it also has a bunch of other stuff. I honestly don't drink them that much just because they're super sweet to they're me. They're super sweet. It's like almost overly sweet. Yeah. I drink one every couple days, and the only reason I'm drinking them is because a few weeks ago, 
they GNC had the they were selling them for a dollar. A dollar. So we literally like we have like eight GNCs within like three miles of our house. We literally I think it was a limit of like four or something like that or six. He's I don't the remember reason what it was. why they have a limit. Yeah. So we like literally all of us were going into every GNC and getting the limit for the day. So we ended up with like I don't know like forty of them. Oh my gracious. But. You know, yeah, now nah, I think once they're gone, I don't plan on like loading up on them. Honestly, I think as far as like an energy drink goes, I like the Stevia energy drink or Zevia, the yeah. Zevia brand energy drink. And actually, the only place that we've ever been able to find them in a storefront have been Sprouts. Yeah, Sprouts sell them. We usually get them from Amazon and have them drop ship to the house, but I'm hoping that Sprouts has them and on sale. And maybe they have a different flavor or something. Yeah, I like the Zevia ones. These actually give me too much energy sometimes. Yeah. They like, you're like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? There's so the many Zibias like- The give you the perfect amount of energy. They've done a lot of funny videos about like people punching trees and I mean, just being an idiot. Like just a jokey one, like Caleb was showing me one was like, bang! And like makes me act like a crazy person. Well, I made the mistake the other day though of I drank one of these and then I was going to my game and I'd been working outside all day. So I'm like, oh, I need to take some electrolytes. So I drank a Zip Fizz within 15 minutes of drinking one of these. Oh my Lord. That was a mistake. <laughs> Well, I am excited that not only is there Sprouts here, but there's also Dollar Tree and across the street, there's Aldi's. So this is like the perfect shopping hub for me. Yeah. So let's go in. We're going to go see. I don't know if they're going to be able to film in Sprouts. We'll see if we can kind of sneak stuff, but it will at least show you what we get when we come out. Yes. And then uh, we're going to go hit, you want to hit Dollar Tree. We're going to hit Aldi's. Then we're going to home film some videos and we'll show you what guy, we're going to eat for lunch later today. Yay! Peterson's brand stuff. We've got Peterson's hot dogs, Peterson's bacon, and Peterson's sausage patties. Love it. This is actually a really good price on um, this premium crab. It's like real crab meat, the claw meat, and it's only $10. So we've been talking about doing a video on these fake meat things. They have the Beyond Meat and they have the sausages, they have Light Life, and the Light Life is on sale for $6, which I think is really expensive. But at $6, I don't know. I think we should try it. You want to do a video on fake meat, Rachel? No, I mean, we're talking like eight carbs per hot dog. Well, we're going to get the burger. All right. So you're still looking at eight carbs per burger. I know, but we're gonna, we have to see is this as good as real beef. Yeah, right. Try these egg pins. I keep seeing them everywhere, but I just cannot make myself pay, what is it, $6 for basically just eggs and cauliflower. I feel like we could make this. What do you think, Joe? We have to try. I really want to try them, but they're too expensive That's for me. That's a lot. This is some of the best coffee creamer there is, and it's on sale for $4.49. This is probably the safest way for me to buy Nut Zero. 99 cent, like, single serve things. This way you don't overdo it. Yeah, because I will eat that entire container. Look at this, though. Don't go nuts. Soybean spread. I think we're going a little far now. Don't go nuts. If you can come up with a chocolate ghee spread, Joe, that could have way less carbs than this, because this has 10 carbs for a tablespoon, then I feel like we would be very rich people. Chocolate mixed with ghee. That yes. sounds delicious. Please make this happen. This is our second favorite butter, and it's on sale for a dollar off a pack. So we're gonna get some. While we're at it, I think we're gonna try their ghee. I started to get like really scared because like look over here it was like eight forty nine on sale. I was like, is that a dozen? But no, it's like way yeah, but that's an incredible deal three ninety nine for the Happy Egg Company. Look at that two fifty off. But we have twelve dozen eggs in our refrigerator right now, so I don't think we need any eggs. What is this one? The Farmer's Hen House. That looks cute. Well, 
is this? True lime, true orange. They're coming out with seasoning blends. Lime, garlic, and cilantro or orange ginger. Get that orange ginger, it's on sale. Hey, we know these guys. They go together like awesome and awesome. They even have the Lakantos chocolate chips. Yes, yeah, so for those of you who are interested, I know on the website they only sell them in like packages of eight or ten. You can buy them here now. Nine dollars. It is so nice to start seeing more and more keto products in the stores. Drop an F-bomb.com. I do think it's cheaper on the website though, and we have a coupon code. It's two crazy ketos. They're coming out with like a coating mix. Almost like reminds me of like shake and bake. So they have this one, they're suggesting goes with like coconut shrimp. They have a recipe on the back. This one is if you're wanting to make pork chops. So it's basically shake and bake. And this one is for avocado fries. What's in the ingredients? Almond meal, flaxseed, paleo powder, herbed, salt-free, all-purpose seasoning. Nothing bad. I think we should try one of these. What is it? Three total carbohydrates, two grams of fiber in this one. Let's try this one because it will do... Um, this one is three and two. I bet you could do like chicken with this also. So excited because cauliflower tortillas and then I turned it over and a, for a serving size there's 22 net carbs in a serving size. <laughs> like I could eat this entire package but like yeah no. Oh my goodness I know we don't need any Zevia. I have a wall of Zevia but look at this. So the six packs are on sale for $3.99, but the 10 packs are on sale for $3.99. That's like 35 cents a can. The best price I've ever gotten is 60 cents. So guess what? See all those 10 packs? I'm buying every one of them right now. Zevia wall. We had to double up on our buggies and each have a buggy. So probably Joe is going a little crazy, but this is the best deal on Zevia we've ever seen. We actually even gave a 12 pack to another lady because she was like, can I have just one? <laughs> So Sacha Inchi is something that you see in a lot of products and um, it's got some great macros. So you're looking at 13 grams of fat, 9 grams of protein. There's 5 total carbs and 5 fiber. So this is fantastic. They're actually really delicious but they're kind of expensive. It's $24 for this jar which honestly isn't terrible. I mean, if you buy macadamia nuts, you're gonna, you know, spend that much. I would get them, but I don't feel like spending $25 right now and because same, I'm spending all that money on Zevia. Right. The same thing for macombo beans. Look at this. It is 10 fat, six protein. You've got 12 uh, grams of uh, carbohydrates, but nine dietary, dietary fiber. And the serving size is 12 of these giant beans. And it's actually, um, got some great uh, serotonin compounds, omega-9 fatty acids. It's 30% fiber. I hope we don't run out of Zevia, Joe. <laughs> they were looking at us a little crazy buying all that Zevia. I would look at us crazy too. However, the deal was so good and it was either, what, 10, 10 for $3.99 $3 or you could have six for $3.99. And I was watching people pick up the six pack. It happened all of the time when I worked at Party City though. They, they have a standing deal that you would get like, if you buy one um, thing of cups, you got another package for free. And all of the time people would be like, yeah, I don't want the free one. I don't want the second one. Cause I don't know where I'm gonna store it. And it's like, how about like, Give Find it to what? somebody. I don't know where we're gonna store all the Zevia, but how do you Zevia turn that wall. down? But I felt bad, so as I'm loading up literally every 12 pack they have there. We were shelf clearing. This lady comes up and she's like, are you buying them all? And I'm like, well, I am. Want? I'm like, what flavor do you want? She was like, just one root beer. I'm like, okay, here you go. I felt bad. That, that is my favorite, but we don't want somebody going without. Well, she was the only smart one that I saw actually buying the 10 pack. She picked up the six pack and then we, wait a second, is that right? Why would I want to pay the same amount for less? It made no sense, but I watched like four people do it. But I actually was talking to a, a Publix cashier and she said that that was something that she saw all the time too, where they'd have like buy one, get one free for like toilet paper. And I don't want the free one. And they, they were like, no, no, I'll just want the one. Let's go over quickly what we bought so we don't make this too too long. So we got, we're gonna try their cheese, uh, cheese snacks, cheese bites. Yeah, they had these cheese bites. They were on sale for $2 a bag. I actually wanna try one. And uh, we got 
what is it? They, we got cheddar and I think one of that flavor. What this is that? This one is classic. classic. But these are the just the ingredients were red cheddar cheese, which is milk, salt, lactic acid, microbial rennet. And that's it. And carotene for coloring. They seem like they're just slightly smaller and poofier, I would but say. But it's 150 calories per serving. There's two servings in the whole bag. 12 grams of fat, zero carbs, 11 grams of protein. Those are good. Those are really good. Like really good. Mm, like very, some of the best we've had. Very buttery. Okay, what else we got in that bag? We got... Yeah, we showed this. That's our second favorite uh, butter. It's almost butter. never on sale, but it was on sale cheaper than uh, uh, Kerrygold today. We got some... Okay, chicken. so I bought this air chilled organic ground chicken. It was on sale for like $4 off a package. And you know what I'm doing with this? Can what? you guess? I'm going to try to duplicate the uh, real good jalapeno poppers, but actually make it so that you can taste the cheese and jalapeno. Oh, if you do that, I will be so happy. That's what the purpose of this is. And then we got, ooh, look, some raw shrimp. Yep, so the shrimp was on sale like $7 off a pound. So I bought two pounds of it so that we could make our jambalaya that we've been making. Oh, it's so good. Then we got some bacon. Yeah, bacon. Did you see this deal on the bacon? I did not. $5 off a pound for mm -hmm. the um, uncured bacon. So I bought two, four, two, 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 two pound packages. Boom. So we got four pounds of that. And we got some of your creamer. Well, the creamer is kind of for you. We got two of this one. For This is the best creamer. Uh, this is the uh, Kaitu, K-I-T-U. And um, a serving size is three tablespoons, and it's got MCT oil in it. It's got some protein in it. 50 calories per serving, five total grams of fat, three grams of protein, zero carbohydrates in three grams in three tablespoons. And it is super. They they have the name right. Yeah, it's super. The ingredients in this purified water, whey protein concentrate, cream, coconut MCT oil, monk fruit, natural uh, flavors. Uh, now, the natural vanilla flavor, natural flavor, potassium phosphate, and galan gum. We got one of the hazelnuts. That's, I like that flavor. But I'm, I don't know why, but I'm not a huge hazelnut creamer fan. I should be. This is the same company that makes those super coffees, which I'm in love with, but I can never find like less than $3.50. Yeah, that's an investment. So and we just make our own, but yeah, this stuff really good. It was on sale like $2 off. And did you see the, the only reason we bought three of them expires May of 2020. I really feel like we'll drink it by So then. long as you don't open it. If yeah. Once you open it, it's gonna go bad. So the key is don't open it till you need it. Till you know you're gonna use it. Yep. So I'm interested though, what is everybody else's favorite creamer flavor? Like yeah. do you like hazelnut? You like vanilla? You like mocha? Pumpkin I'm not spice. a mocha fan. I like vanilla. I like hazelnut. I'm not a huge mocha fan. So though. comment down below and let us know what do you like to put and flavor your coffee with. Yeah. What else we got? We got a whole bunch of these guys. Yeah, I bought like, these were on sale three for five, which is about um, 30 cents, 40 cents less than we normally pay. I like to treat myself with them every once in a while. We don't buy a lot of them. So I think I bought like, 10 of them or, or nine of them I think I bought. We got some of the good some heavy whipping cream. Heavy whipping cream. This is, I like this one. It's organic pasteurized. It doesn't have any carrageenan in it. They use galan gum instead. And so we do, sp we spring for this, especially if we're making some like keto chow ice cream. Mm. We use this stuff. It makes a huge difference. Ghee. Yeah, we got some ghee. We normally buy the Aldi's ghee, but this one was on sale. I wanted to try this one because this is the refrigerated and it's usually expensive. Is it a Vital it's Farms? Still, it's Vital Farms, yeah. Do you want to do this? Oh, yeah, sausage. We got the sausage. It is so hard to find sausage that doesn't have sugar or dextrose or something like that. Usually we just end up dealing with it. And now we've got to find a whole new sausage place and meat place, really. Yeah, our meat place, Penn Dutch, announced yesterday they're going out of business, like today. Yeah. So, yeah, so we have to find a new place. I think we're going to go a lot more to like US Wellness and like and uh, Butcher Box because after them, that was the next cheapest. The only reason we didn't do a lot of stuff from you know Butcher Box and US Wellness is because you couldn't we, be Penn Dutch prices. Yeah, and and easy access. Like you walked into the store the same day and got it. Yeah. So. 
But U.S. Wellness and ButcherBox, their prices actually beat Costco prices a lot of times. That's so amazing. They're really good deals. Well, I have a link down below. You got some oil. Oh yeah, we needed some more um, coconut oil spray. We just use this for like our waffle makers and stuff like that. And we got some of this new seasoning Yeah, we blend. Tried, saw this new seasoning. Rachel found this. This looks really interesting. Maybe put it on some chicken or some steak or something like I'm that. I'm really excited to try it. I almost want to like crack it open and see what it tastes like right now. But it's, it's orange, orange ginger. ginger. I bet it's I bet it's good. Let's try it. This They're all thinking we're gross for doing super this. Super sanitary. Mmm. I don't need that for food. That is good. It's wow. puckery good. It is. I like some yeah. tart stuff, especially if you're doing like a um an orange chicken. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We'll that is good. That. Anything else we get? We did. Calfia Farms. Great for our ice cream. It's good and honestly, I use this when I want to be more heavy handed with a creamer. Like a latte. Because this is, it's a, a serving size is eight fluid ounces. Now, I'm not gonna use eight fluid ounces in a coffee, but I might wanna have more than a tablespoon or two in a coffee. And this is one carbohydrate total and one fiber. So yeah. zero carbs. This is And only really 45 good. calories. This is really good if you want a latte. If you miss Starbucks, mm -hmm. right? And you want a latte where it's three quarters milk, like yeah. we usually use like 14 or 18 ounce mugs. Yeah. Eight ounces of this, add in your coffee, maybe a few drops of monk fruit sweetener if you want. This is our favorite one from them. This is the coconut almond milk. They also have almond milk, Uns make sure you get unsweetened. I was gonna say, you gotta check the label on the back. They also had a couple of flavored varieties. They all have sugar in them. And it all has sugar in them. And then they also came out with a creamer, yeah. like a shelf stable, like a creamer. But I looked on the back and the carbs weren't great on that. So yeah. I would stick with this if you're interested but in But this is pretty more. much what we use. We've walked away from by buying the almond milks and stuff like that. Because again, there's no carrageenan in this. And the carrageenan seems to like be funny with us sometimes. Because I love the, the, the super coffee. I love the creamer. It's delicious, but sometimes I want I want a, I want a lot. So you want a lot, you know. Or I have multiple cups of coffee, as we well know, like a ton. So I can't afford to have, you know, two or three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream fourteen times a day. Right. You know? This is lunch, lunch slash dinner. So we've always gotten the Whole Foods one, so I figured let's try the Sprouts versions. Cowboy burgers. The, yeah, bacon jalap. I got a two bacon jalapeno. Uh, cheeseburgers. Yum. And then I got two of this was the cowboy burger. Oh it's yeah. It's blue cheese cowboy burger. That's the one I want. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one of each one today. Okay. And we're gonna split it. So we each get a half, and then that we'll have the fair. other ones tomorrow. Because I need to be able to taste both. Yeah, and we have a hard time sharing. Yes. Once it's like, hey, that's your dinner. You know, oh, and can I have a bite of yours? No. no. So I think that is everything that we got. We ended up, are you ready? I know. I don't even want to say it out loud. We spent $213, which is a lot of money for us to go grocery shopping. But we a haven't lot. been grocery shopping in like, since the last time we did a video of us going grocery shopping. I was going gonna say, shopping. almost since we went with you guys last time. Yeah, it's been at least a month. Yeah. You know, I mean, very, we may spend like just buying some like, Little stuff here and there, maybe twenty to thirty dollars a week, but we pretty much stockpile stuff in our freezers whenever something's on sale yeah. or like Z V or something like that. Because of all of this money that we spent, I think like sixty-eight dollars of it was just on the Zevia. Zevia money. But we're good on Zevia for a long time. One would hope. I would well, we're good on my flavors, but oh, Rachel's yeah. got I, 50 percent of what we bought there are rachel's flavors yeah well when the lady said like can i have a root beer and i was like you want ginger ale and she's like no root beer ginger ale <laughs> she's like no root beer no i think you want ginger ale it's delicious that's rachel's favorite flavor root beer so we're gonna go home we're gonna unpack we're gonna make our lunch and then we have some filming some other videos to do Yay. including a keto chow ice cream yum
Well, we got home from Sprouts, and I went to make the burgers that we bought. And we remember we have chicken wings. Yeah, I completely forgot that we went to Buffalo Wild Wings. We actually treated ourselves for dinner last night. Yes, well, they actually have, like, a deal going on, but you have to eat there in the restaurant. Yeah, so their deal with buy one, get one free wings is you have to eat in the restaurant. But, of course, we're Rachel and Joan, and we always find a way around it. So we order, like, an alarming amount of wings at once, and then we just take you know, a bunch of it home. But yeah. it always scares the waitress a little bit. Well, we ordered like, like two larges and two mediums, knowing that we were only going to eat like eight or nine wings a piece. She's like, how hungry are you? Yeah. <laughs> and then we brought them home because we usually like to crisp them up more. They never can cook them as crispy as we want them Maybe anyway. Maybe we're weird, but yeah, I like them crunchy. We tell them extra crispy and they're still not crispy enough. Yeah. Yeah, so we brought home wings. So we have wings. So we're going to eat these and then we'll probably eat those burgers later on for dinner. Sounds good. And since we haven't eaten, we may also have a keto chow as well. Yes. So see how we have to figure out our macros for the day because we are in like day three of uh, our reverse diet. So we yes. got to make sure we hit all our macros right. So I did want to say before we wrap it up, though, in the vlog when we were in Sprouts, we showed you guys that I, I forgot the name of it, that other meat, not the Beyond Meat, but the other one that they had there. We were going to get that and sample it this and tell you guys many. what we thought. But it had way too many carbs. The Beyond Meat only has like three carbs in a serving. But they didn't have the burgers. Well, they didn't have the burgers and it wasn't on sale. They only had it in like the one pound tub. Yeah. And it was like $10. So we're going to wait. And as soon as we can find the Beyond Meat on sale, we are going to sacrifice our bodies and eat a non-meat burger. Hey, even Dr. Barry said he was going to at least try it. All right. There's no way I'm ever giving up meat for Beyond Meat, I but we're going to try it anyway. I feel like Ron Swanson from Parks and Recreation, where he's like, where they have like kind of a contest between like you know not meat and a hamburger, and this guy's like trying to elevate it with all of these different flavors and toppings and things, and it's like everybody's like, yeah, hamburger wins. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna look for that on sale as soon as we get it. We will definitely do that. And in the meantime, what we should probably do is go try one of those Burger King ones. Yeah, like the Impossible Burger. I think it's called the Impossible Burger. So we'll see. If our Burger King has that, that'll be another video coming up. Awesome. Well, I'm ready to eat. We got a set of wings here. The other set's in the air fryer, but we're going to start here. Yum. So that's going to end today's video. Let us know down in the comment section what your favorite store to get some of the better quality products is. Is yeah. it Whole Foods? Is it Lucky's? Um, Lucky's? Sprouts? Is it Sprouts? Is it Trader Joe's? Yeah. Which one do you have near you? Or if you're fortunate enough to have them all, yeah. let us know what your favorite one is down below. Because I'm really enjoying Sprouts, but I learned very quickly with Sprouts, you've got to know your prices. Yes, and shop the sales. You have, And you have to shop the sales. Because I noticed like with their Zevia, we got an awesome deal today. But their normal price on Zevia was $6.99 a six pack. Compare that to the $4.99 at Whole Foods. Yeah. So you really got to know your prices with these places. But let us know down in the comment section what your favorite place is. So that is our video for today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.